Hey everyone, it's Nerf Boy Productions here. Today, I have a continued series that you guys really, really seem to like. This video is the best Nerf guns for under $30. Last time I did this video, it was best Nerf guns for under $15. And that video got like over a million views and stuff. It was crazy. You guys really, really seem to like it. So, I figured, why not double it? Let's do best guns for under 30. We have five today, plus a kind of a bonus one. All these prices are in American because I live in Canada and when I started looking, most and a lot of Nerf blasters in Canadian $30, most of them are over that. So American prices, I was able to find all these blasters for under 30. Let's go ahead and get started. None of the blasters I mentioned here today are in a specific order from worst to best. These are all just really great options for different reasons I will get into right now. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do a little crowd pleaser first so that no one gets mad at me. This is maybe the best Nerf blaster ever made. Well, for a lot of people. And for price, definitely it may be one of the best. This is the Nerf Strife. Now mine is heavily modified, so that's a little bit different. But as far as even just a stock Strife goes, they are amazing. Even on Amazon, you can find them for, I think the cheapest was like under $10 someone found one for. Um, for like a really short amount of time. You can find these things for really cheap prices all over the place if you know where to look. I would start with Amazon because they're starting to become harder to find in stores. The Strife is a clip system blaster. Not sure what it comes with, but clip system. It's got two tactical rails, one on the top and bottom, a front end strike barrel attachment system, and an end strike stock attachment system, jam door, flywheels, and electric. So totally customizable and moddable. A very, very nice base blaster uh, for good price. Moving on with the modding aspect, like I said, the Strife is very, very good for modding. So is this next one. And you may be surprised by this one, but um, the Zombie Strike version of the Longshot CS6. It comes with a big orange scope, and a lot of times you find them around $32. Um, you know, that's pretty close to 30 and a lot of times you can find them under that as well. So this is probably one of the weakest stock blasters Nerf makes for the price. It's, it's pitiful. It'll shoot 10 feet, maybe. And it's huge and it should be able to do a lot more. And it can, if you know. Long strikes are and were kind of the whole thing that just really kick-started nerf modding communities was the long shot cs6 they have so much room inside of them to be able to do so much more than they do people love them for modding before the zombie strike version of the long shot was released you had to get them used on ebay and online stuff like that and they came at a very high cost it was becoming harder and harder to find good quality working long shots even just the base body very hard to find and then they came out with this which is the exact same long shots um, just with the repaint and they don't come with the front barrel or the bipod pieces But if you want to get your hands on a long shot to start learning this one's under $30 All right now like I said this list isn't in any particular order, but the next one up is the Retaliator XD original Sonic Ice any of them. They're all the exact same But the Retaliator is the elite version of the recon. It comes with a stock a barrel an assault grip. Its clip system comes with a 10 or 12 dart clip. Spring loaded, shoots up to 75 feet. When used properly, it rarely jams on me. It's got a flip up sight in the in the uh, barrel it comes with. It comes with a lot of stuff. That is very, very nice to see. And although it has very great performance, I think the main reason I chose it is for under $30, it comes with all this stuff. I always love recommending the Retaliator as your first bigger Nerf blaster because all these pieces can be used on other blasters. Now, Nerf also has the Modulus line, but of course the ECS-10 costs way more than the Retaliator when it's not on sale. So you can also get Modulus upgrade kits, but those in themselves sometimes cost as much as you can find these things on sale for now. So I really, really love the Retaliator. And I guess it's kind of becoming an old guy, but uh, still going strong. This is the last End Strike Elite Blaster in my lineup. And this is the End Strike Elite Crossbolt. The Crossbolt, I know. It doesn't have a guard over its magazine release, so it falls out a lot. But other than that, clip system, bullpup design, 
uh, nice iron sights, tactical rail on the bottom, super silent shots, it's got real bow power, and it's dang accurate. Hard, it's ne mine's never jammed on me once, and um, I find just the way the force is delivered to the dart with this bow technology in the cross bolt compared to some other blasters, it just seems to never fishtail or do any of that crazy stuff. And it feels really good in the hands as well. The cross bolt, again, it's one that you can find on sale all the time, especially at my Walmart. I bought like five of them for like $15 a piece, or like $20 a piece. So that was pretty cool. And uh, if you ha don't own a bow style blaster, I recommend starting with this. The crossbow, it's a crossbow technically, but it's its a lot of fun and it looks super cool and uh, yeah, it definitely deserves to be one of the best. Now I did promise that was the last end strike elite blaster, excluding the zombie strike version of the long shot. Up next we have a mega blaster. This may be one of my favorites for price to power. The mega roto fury is awesome. Pump action, mega darts, big tactical rail on the top, uh, slam fire or single shot, big iron sights, super comfortable handles, and you could just go to town all day on this thing. I understand why Nerf doesn't make a bunch of mega clips, because mega clips are kind of crazy. So they did this blaster with a drum design. I think if this had a mega clip design, it may just, or magazine design, it may just be one of my favorite blasters. Um, just because the, the mega power in this, and I just don't really like loading up drums such as this. But other than that, it is super cool. And once you have this thing loaded, tons of fun. Not too much to say about this blaster. Mega blasters in themselves don't have as much features and customizability as their end strike elite counterparts do, but it's a very fun basic blaster that uh, that performs awesome. So that right there was actually five blasters. All under $30, and any one of those will definitely get the job done, and you'll have a lot of fun with. One little sneaky guy I added in was the rival Apollo XV700. Reason being, I added it in is because it is rivals. Um, rivals, Nerf doesn't like to associate themselves so much with rivals. Um, I mean, they definitely do, but like we know, it's for older audience. I really like this series of videos for uh, parents and stuff who are trying to figure out, you know, you're on a budget and you're trying to look for a very good blaster. And all, like I said, all the ones I mentioned will do great, except for the long shot. If you're, if you're looking for a blaster to get your kid and you're not getting it for modding, I wouldn't get the long shot. But this Apollo XV700 is much harder to prime than uh, the other blasters. Much louder. Because as we know, these are for older audience. But if you are, if you do fit into that older audience, you will have tons of fun with the Apollo. Super simple, it's got a safety trigger. Uh, this really cool loading through the handle business, like a vector, is really, really awesome. And this blaster this is surprisingly cheap, so I think it's well under $30. Um, that's just my last one I have to kind of throw in there. So that's it for this video. I know last time when I made the $15 one, it was really, really long video. I'm not sure how many of you guys want me to include. I tried to keep it down in kind of like a top five style because last time I, I went through every blaster you can get for under $15 and then rounded out the good ones and bad ones. There's so many blasters below this and everything. If I went through every blaster below $30, We'd be here for a while, so I just kind of already skipped that step and picked out my top five, plus the Apollo. But let me know how you guys, if you want to see more of these, you know, I could even do top five or best blasters over $50 or something like that. Anything else you want to see like that, just let me know if you want to. And if you're new to the channel, feel free to subscribe because I have new videos every single Saturday. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Hope it was of use to you. I know it's, uh, it's kind of entertainment, but it's kind of just like, a buyer's guide. I know a lot of you guys did want that though. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. You know what to do. As always, this was Nerf Boy Productions, signing off.